Right, good morning and welcome to another Coaster Crazy vlog here on YouTube. Right, as you can see, we are in fact at Energylandia, where we should have come yesterday. But as you saw, we went to Legendia instead because it's not open today, so we wanted to make the most of it. We were going to do two days here and then obviously a day at Legendia as well, which we had a great time. We only spent sort of four hours there or so. Hey, 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 you're on the telly now. Coaster Crazy, check me out. Uh, I love Poland. Um, yes, yeah, so we had a few hours there at Legendia and then we actually thought we'll come to Energylandia for the rest of the day. Bearing in mind, last time we came it was very quiet. Um, we got here and this car park was absolutely rammed. If you saw the end of yesterday's vlog, you'd see because I put a little bit at the end. Uh, I didn't even know this, but there's overspill car parks all the way around the perimeter of the park. I didn't even know they were there. They were all full. There's even a land train that takes people around the car parks. Didn't know anything about that, so that must be new. Um, yeah, so we're here. Energy Landia today. I'm going to get my 400th coaster today. And I've been umming and ahhing which one it'd be. Either Hyperion here or Zadra, the brand new RMC coaster. Uh, and I did put it wasn't a poll as such, but it was like asking people which one would you go on uh, as your 400th. And everyone was saying Zadra, you know, brand new RMC. But in fact, I'm going to choose Hyperion purely because we came last year and we missed the opening by a week. I do love me Intamin coasters. Um, I've wanted to get on this for about, well, a year. And it's space themed. Obviously, I'm a big Star Wars star, uh, fan. Can't get me words out, it's too early. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm a big uh, sci-fi fan and it's it's basically themed around a mission to a, a moon of Saturn's, Sat one of Saturn's moons, I think it is. That's what it's themed around. It looks amazing. So yeah, there's a lot of people stood outside here. The park didn't open for another 10 minutes. You can see all the gates inside there is all closed still. Well, yeah, great entrance to it. Very cheap as well. We got tickets last night at the hotel. Um, because when we were there, we didn't even notice there were signs in the hotel and it was basically translated as, if you buy here, uh, you get a discount. We got five five percent discount, which worked out. It ended up, ended up being about £22 each or something to get in here. It's very cheap, honest to God. Um, even this morning, I was thinking about it as well. A lot of people would go, oh yeah, Florida, America, just go to them places all the time. Um, you know, it's safe, you know what you're getting and stuff like that. In fact, I feel a lot safer over in Europe than I do in America, believe it or not. Um, it, I mean, driving here as well is so easy. The, the people are really nice. The hotel where we stayed was really nice. It's cheap. The weather's great. I love it here. I really do love Europe and I want to see more of it. I want to go to Italy. There's a few parks in Spain that I've never been to before. Um, there's, there's loads, there's obviously a few more. Belgium, you know, Wallaby Belgium, we'll go back to Wallaby Holland. There's loads more parks in Germany that I haven't been to. I just want to see more of Europe than anywhere else, really. But yeah, the gates are just opening up in here. Um, there's toilets and stuff out here as well. I've not seen anything being tested yet, but uh, Zadra looks amazing. It's basically Polish for splinter. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I googled translated it as well because I wasn't sure. I know Sean's been saying Zadra, but it's not, it's Zadra. So yeah, Zadra. Is Zadra? Yeah, Zadra? Yeah, see, they know. Zadra. Zadra. Not Zadra. Zadra. Uh, the other thing is as well, Sean did, I know if you, if you do follow Sean, Theme Park Worldwide, he actually stayed here at the Western Camp Resort. Uh, did watch the video of that. Yes, I am a big fan of his as well I do watch his videos I'm not only just a friend but yeah he stayed at the Western Camp Resort it's basically just over there we, we we drove past it last year when we came with Tom and Stacey and it looks really really good and I'm not sure of the prices but he said it was quite reasonable he stayed in a chuck wagon it looked great um, so yeah I highly recommend it if you've never been to Poland or even thinking about coming I know there's so many people really want to get out of here just do it just book it it's so easy uh, I didn't bother with the travel vlog as well. It's basically we just jumped on a plane <laughs> and we flew over here It's nothing to really follow the hotel was very nice But it was just basically like a, 
you know, this is like a premier inn, just a nice clean hotel, breakfast included as well. Looks like there might be a couple of school trips here as well. Hopefully it's not too busy. Car park's not too bad either, but yeah, if you're wanting to come over here, don't be scared, don't be put off by the language barrier as well. I know no Polish at all, and we've managed. A lot of people do speak English, so don't be put off by that. I know a lot of reasons why people would put off coming to Europe instead of going to say America or somewhere is because of the language barrier. Yes, they have their own currency as well, which is Lotte. It's dead easy, it's so easy, it's so cheap, it's amazing. Let's go. Energy Landia Tay. We've got the tickets, like I said, already sorted out. Got these at the hotel last night. So yeah, I've worked out that that's how much it is each. It's about it's about 22 quid. It's dead easy. And it's such a beautiful park. Really enjoyed it last year when we came. So that's all your ticket booths over there. We don't need that, we just scan it on the machine. So there's one side there and one another one there. Uh, filming on the rides is allowed with a chest mounted GoPro. Yeah. There you go, we're in. <laughs> That's it, easy. There's your maps. Yeah, I'm out of English. And they got the show on down here. We didn't see this last year. And so there's a, basically a show. Uh, we, we, need to, we need to start running that way. When we, when we get in to go to Hyperion. I think it's open anyway. We've got to keep going. Yeah, they're laying people in. Ho hopefully, hopefully we'll have a good day today. Um, yeah, the park is pretty new. So entertainment on as well. Everyone's queuing up down here for high period. It's very loud. Yeah, the park opened in 2014, so it's five years old. They've just built their 15th roller coaster. And if you do follow uh, the Coaster Crazy Facebook page, you'll probably have seen that I posted some pictures of the new coaster that they're building for next year, which is the Vacoma Shockwave. The, uh, the tracks in the car park just behind us down there. So, yeah, 16 roller coasters within, well, six years. That's amazing, more coasters than any other park in Europe. So we'll wait here for the raging of the bull. Everyone will probably run to Hyperion. And it, uh, the Zadra is right at the back of the park. So yeah, see you in a sec. Right, here we go, ropes dropped. Loads of people are going that way towards Zadra. Some people are going this way towards Hyperion. I cannot wait for this. 400th coaster credit. Amazing. It's basically um, an Intamin mega coaster, but it's it's actually classed as a hyper coaster uh, because it's over 200 foot. Yeah, it's it's actually the uh, it's the second tallest coaster in Europe now. I think it's the second tallest, fastest, and longest, or something like that. It's big anyway. It looks amazing. I don't even think they've tested it yet, but there's people waiting to get in. Oh. I think there's new lockers as well in there. Do we have to get a locker? I don't know. Hopefully we get quite a few laps on this today. Huh? Uh, English? Everything back, you must stay in the boat. In the locker, yeah. Right, there you go, he's just confirmed it. Everything has to go in a locker. So I'll see it a bit. Right, so we just had to get a locker. Um, we paid for a wristband for the locker. It's five slotty for the whole day, you can transfer them around. So basically you scan your, your thing in here and then it comes up with a number. English select. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just opened up, there we go. Right, I'll uh, see you when we get on the ride. 
Right, I've got you on the chest harness now. I'm loving this theme already with the blue lights and the concrete wall. Very natural, modern theme as Saturn. So yeah, like I was saying, it's a, basically it's a journey to one of Saturn's moons, Hyperion, that's gone wrong. This is it, 400 coasters. Apparently it's a bit of a long walk. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this. Very industrial sort of space theme. It's amazing. All right, we've just come outside. It took us about five minutes just to walk up the concrete bit. So you can see, yeah, uh, car park's not hugely busy yet. And they've got to go back down some stairs. Oh my God. I think we've walked a mile already. Oh my God. Where's the station? I think that we have to go back up again. All right, clever system there, just counting down. Yeah, we walked down the stairs. We're in like a loading system now. Um, we were got a queue for the front, but there's a lot of people waiting for the front row, so I'll just get on it. Uh, try and get you a front row POV from the end of the day anyway. Yeah, I love it in here. Really excited. Oh, man. Other than the uh, Red Force, this will be one of the biggest coasters we've ever been. There we go, straight in. This is one of the biggest coasters we've ever been on. So, yeah, like I said, Intamin Hyper Coaster. Back row. Back row. Yeah. No short lead. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have the end seat. Look at this in here. So yeah, basically the two end seats are like winged because they hang over the edge of the track and then you've got two elevated seats in the middle. There they go. Oh, it's on two trains. Look at the size of the train though, it's massive. Yeah. It looks like you get a bit wet as well. Yeah. People love it. There we go, 400 coasters. Yeah, you get really wet. You'll sit in the middle. Right, we're off already. Send it, back row. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, lap by like Taron. No problems getting in, loads of room. Oh my God. Uh. Oh, this is going to be amazing. It's got one inversion as well. Basically the same one that's on uh, Swarm at the beginning, the, uh, the dive loop. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's supposed to be really intense, so I hope we don't black out. Here we go. Whoa! Is that? Oh, I didn't think it was intense as a lot of people have been saying. I didn't feel like it was got a great out or anything, but no, no, that is so smooth. That is oh, top, oh, first go, top 10 coaster. That amazing. 400 coasters done. 
Yeah, I, I was holding on a bit, but then I was just holding the GoPro so it didn't bounce around. That was amazing, that. <laughs> right, there you go, straight off, straight into the shop. I tell you what, that is a world-class coaster. And I just said to Lisa, that's better than Sean Barlow and Mako. That is better than any B&M Hypercoaster I've ever been on. That's amazing. Oh, still pumping. That's incredible, yeah. Top 10 coaster for me, definitely. Even after just one ride. Uh, I think we might, I don't know what we're doing, we're going around again? No. No, we'll, we'll, we'll walk over to Zadra. Yeah. But yeah, still got the chest harness on. Yeah, basically, I didn't hold on much. I'm just basically holding the really chest harness. Not really, no. First drop was a bit, ooh. <laughs> but no, really, really good, solid coaster. Nice and smooth. Um, I didn't think it was that intense compared to what people have been saying. Uh, it was basically just as good as a, uh, ba ba just as good as um, an interim mega coaster like Goliath and uh, Expedition G-Force. A bit similar to that, wasn't it? I thought. That was some, yeah, it's amazing. Such a good coaster. Get yourself to Poland and come and ride this. Go and get our bags now. Yay! She's on the telly. Ooh, Hyperion, yay! <laughs> awesome. Right, here we go again, third row this time. Again, there's still a big queue for the front, so I'll get on it later. Plenty of time. Park is open till six. So in less than half an hour, this is a second ride. Ooh. Oh, I love it. I'm on, uh, I'm on the left-hand side now. This is incredible, this thing. So smooth going up this lift hill, it's amazing. And you can't hear the dog ratchet either. The train's so big, here we go. Last coaster right here in Poland. That's amazing. That again, that, that that's better than any B and M hyper coaster I've ever been on. Wow. People that are saying Thought Park needs to get a B and M hyper coaster. No, they don't. They need to get one of these. Amazing. Right there you go. Hyperion done it. Completed. Yeah, amazing. That is, I was just thinking about it then. I've just done my little post about my 400th coaster credit and it's amazing. Um, I think that could be in an, a top five for me. That was just so good. It, for me, that's better than any B&M hypercoaster I've ever been on. Bearing in mind, I've only ever been on three of them, which was Shambhala, Silver Star and Mako. I just think that was amazing. It's just got loads of different elements to it. It's got an inversion on it as well which was the dive loop. Basically the same as what's on Swarm as well. So it's like that twist and then a, a drop. Loads of air time, loads of low to the ground bits to it. It was brilliant, it's nice and smooth. The train's really comfortable. Uh, loads of room on the lap bar. Um, the only thing I'm not keen on is the 10 minute walk to the station, which it did pretty much take that long. We've been in the park, uh, well, nearly an hour. We've only done that two rides and you can see it's not, it's not rammed. You've got a couple of flat rides around here, which obviously I won't be doing. You've got the 4D cinema there, which we did last year and wasn't very good. So we might not do that. 
you got this dark ride around here which um, is very interesting it's amazing I mean I have had a lot of comments saying oh you gotta love Energylandia but if you are a new subscriber we did come last year and also what's this month as well in uh, September is the Oktoberfest uh, yeah family channel love but yeah Oktoberfest is all this month as well so there'll be beer and all sorts of stuff as well here's your um, very interesting dark ride this is basically an interactive shooting ride like an alien sort of style rip-off thing but it's, it's all right but they do need severely a, um, a, a better dark ride pretty much like what was it uh, legendia that uh, basilisk thing so yeah you got that there it's not very good <laughs> it's, it's walk on as well there's no wait for that people are walking straight past it it's a shame this is a beautiful park like i say there's 15 coasters here as well now there's just so much to this place it is a two-day park but because we've already been here before we know what's what we'll just walk around take it all in again and get on the stuff that we didn't do last time so obviously Hyperion we've done that we missed that by a week when we came last year which we were a bit gutted about uh, but it's gave, it's gave us a, a reason to come back for um, we were probably planning to come back next year but since Sadra's opened up this year, it's, it's amazing how they've, they've managed to do it. Obviously, if you do follow like social media pages and things, you'll know that when they were constructing Zadra, they had a really bad storm here and it blew down. Um, they'd only done probably, I'd say about a quarter of the build and it, the, the wind, it just blew it down. It just completely ripped it all down and they've rebuilt it again. It's incredible. Here's your... Uh, signs for it it's uh everything's pretty much on zero minutes zadra zero hyperion 10 space booster which is the uh the booster thingy that's on 30 minutes but it's got a rubbish slow pull and when we came last year believe it or not the coaster of the park was that it was formula the um the coma space warp which is great, it's an amazing coaster, but now you've got that over there which is where we're heading, it's got a whole new, brand new area to it you've got uh, Anaconda, the boat ride, that's been rethemed by the looks of it these, uh, these work out really well as well, because now you've got the wristband, you can just scan it as you go along throughout the park I think it's a great system, I think most parks should do something like that Huh? For the locker, yeah. yeah. So you got to scan it for the locker. You got the uh, shop there. I think we're going the right way. There's a tunnel over the road. Yeah, so you've basically got Zadra, and they didn't just build that. They built two other junior coasters. Well, I think one's a family coaster, one's a junior coaster. There's a flat ride and a, a cycle monorail as well. I think we are going the right way. I think it's in between the Mayan coaster and. Oh my god, it looks amazing. It will be the second, second ever RMC that I've ever done. It's be the first ever ground up RMC that I've been on. In fact, it's the world's first ground up RMC uh, with the uh, iBox track. And it's a hybrid, so it's a wooden structure and steel track on it. So then you've got obviously got a full wooden, which would be the topper track. So it's still got wooden rails, but then it's got a metal topper section on it as the, as the rail. Uh, but this is a full, full ground up. It's it's similar to Goliath that they rebuilt in uh, in America. It looks amazing. I and mean, the whole park's amazing. Again, it's nice and clean. The landscaping's great. That's the road that we were parked up last night. So if you haven't seen a vlog from Legendia, check that one out. Can't wait to go over there. I think we'll probably spend most of the day over there to be honest because all the other coasters are no they're all right but it's stuff we've done before. I mean the Mayan coaster there you can see you'll probably think oh god it's another SLC but in fact it's probably the world's best SLC only because it's got the uh, the new trains on it with the, uh, the little vest lap bars. There's uh, Zadra going up over there but yeah that's that's not bad. 
So when we were here, like I was saying last year, the best coaster was Formula and the Vacoma, uh, Vacoma suspended coaster, Draken or whatever it's called, that was pretty good as well. And then we've got a booster, a, a, sorry, a, a boomerang, kids boomerang. I think we're going the right way. There should be a path. Oh, it is, it's down here. Have we just walked in a big circle? I'd, uh, have we missed the path somewhere? Where is it? I think we've missed the... I have no idea. Is it down here? <laughs> You've got to walk miles to get to it. It just shows you the size of the park now. Uh, they're building the new coaster over there, the Shockwave. They'll probably end up calling it Shockwave because from the concept out, it looks like uh, uh, like Pompeii, like the um, where the volcano destroyed the city. Uh, so Shockwave, you know, sort of fits in. That's going over there. And then there's still rumours of a, a Vekoma tilt coaster as well, uh, a mine train coaster. So there could be 20 coasters at this park within the next five years, or even less than that. But yeah, I'll show you when we get to where we're going. I think it's at the end of here. I think we've missed a turn in somewhere. Oh well, we completely missed something there because we walked past Formula, but there's a sign on here uh, with the arrow saying that it's down this way so now we've got to walk across the grass and over the, over the little wall because there's no other way of getting there well, that was a bit odd because it's it, it, it said it was back that way but it's not it's it's on here now look oh we'll get there eventually yeah. i think it's mantle like they've actually built an entire path to go under the road I'm getting attacked by wasps again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'll see you when we get to the other side. Oh, right, we've made it. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, so we basically walked to the other side, which is here. You can probably just hear the music in the background as well. But this is what we're here for. Zadra, uh, the wooden RMC, well it's not the wooden, I don't know why I'm saying that because it's not a wooden coaster, it's an it's a hybrid. But you've also got the uh, the other coasters as well, you've got it's Friday and Draken, which are the two junior coasters there. You've also got a little flat ride and the cycle monorail. Oh god, they could have, like, if they designed that right, or I don't know, they probably could have put like some sort of platform that moved or something because it's a long way. It really is a big park now. In a few years time, I can see this being one of the biggest parks in Europe. This looks amazing. Yeah, you can hear the music in the background. Yes, that is the music from Alton Towers. <laughs> They're like ripping off music here. I don't know what that is. I like the little gardens or the little plants. No, it's, a, it's just a garden, isn't it? With plants in it. That's pretty. All these little little trees and things. That's lovely. That. Oh wow! Look at that. Do 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 do. Ah, this area is lovely around here. The theming's amazing. They've done all the floor. They've put all these buildings up. They've built a really noisy coaster over there. It looks like an A. <laughs> yeah, three inversions on it. Yeah. Here comes one of the inversions now. Oh, yes. Wow. Right, I think we're going straight to it. Yeah, it's lovely around here. The theming's amazing. It literally opened up, what, a few weeks ago, this. It's, it was pinned up for next year, this. That looks amazing. That's a, yeah. Oh, scheduled for next year, yeah. But these bits in the middle here, that's all metal work there. That's not even steel, uh, not even made of wood. There's your coat. Oh, yeah, there we are. I could have had that as a 400th cred. <laughs> that's 
Draken. We might as well go on it now. This way it's walk on. <laughs> yeah, 401th coaster credit. Huh? Entrance. Oh, entrance is over here. <laughs> oh, Zadra looks amazing. Yeah, creds. It's all about the creds. Zero minute wait. Oh, that's it. Yeah, kids coaster. Gotta go get the kids creds. Creds are cred. Right, off we go. Can't believe I'm doing this before Zadra. <laughs> Creds are cred. Woo! Whoa! Hey, it's not bad. <laughs> I think it was two laps special, or was it stalled? No. <laughs> awesome. wait to get on that in a minute yeah the metal structure around here is incredible oh here we go again ah! <laughs> Woo! better than Zadra oh get me on that thing now <laughs> oh wow look at that yeah it was all right that it was all right Cred, cred's a cred though, innit? Yeah, little Draken was alright. It's just another filler cred, isn't it, really? But uh, yeah, on our way to Zadra now. There is another family coast around here. Looks like they do some sort of show on here. I think they do, actually. I think it's a trampoline. Yeah, trampoline. Nice area, got a themed Irish bar there by the looks of it. It's a bakery. It's nice, it's lovely. I really like it. Could be one of the best themed areas in Europe. Oh, come on, stop saying everything's the best. <laughs> Zero weight, excellent. That's what we want. minutes from that point there yeah we're still walking we've actually been walking for five minutes and uh, yeah it's it's a really long queue line I don't understand why they've built these queue lines so long when I mean, yesterday I think people were waiting from at least here because we could see them from the road when we drove past I think we're nearly there <laughs> I've not even, the whole time I've been walking around, I haven't even seen the train go around. I think it's walk on. Awesome. 20 minutes from there. Don't know where the lockers are. Oh, they're here. Here's the lockers, right. Stuck our bag in the locker, and I'll see you in a bit. Right, the station is just through there, and you've got this section here, like on Hyperion, so you can queue for the front row, uh, single riders, and uh, others, which is at the end, where you can pick whatever row you want to go on. I'm just looking at the structure here as well, looks amazing, the wood that they've used. I like this uh, 
giant scaffolding as the support. So yeah, we've got one more train and we're on the front row here. Right, here we go. Just one train and then we're on. Yeah, I just realised there's seat belts on it as well. Um, like I saying, I've only ever done one RMC, which is Twisted Colossus at Magic Mountain in California. And I found it a bit uncomfortable, if I'm honest. They've got like a little handle there, a little strap to hold on to. But other than that, it looks great. Yeah, she wasn't keen on it. I like the train. The train's pretty cool. Looks awesome. Didn't take long at all. In fact, <laughs> about 15 minutes since we walked in the queue line, and it's walk on. Just shows you how long the uh, the queue is for it. Right, show you when we get on front row. Amazing, can't wait. so good oh oh wow <laughs> loved it yeah again another top 10 coaster i think yeah oh just to let you know the seat belts are very giving i pulled it i pulled it quite loose and then the guy came along and pulled it back in again and it yeah totally fine i'm not keen on the leg restraint though oh it's amazing that that is so smooth Right, there you go. The, I was gonna say the first ever, but it's not. It's the second ever RMC that I've ever done. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's really good. It's really, really good. And the funny thing is though, since we actually entered the queue line till now, it's about 20, about 25 minutes because it just took so long to walk to it. You, can, you see it was walk on. We didn't really have to wait at all. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, loads of room in the seat. I mean, they push the thing down obviously to, to get you in. Um, but there's like a little handle to hold on to. There was a seat belt as well, which I wasn't sure about. Um, but yeah, that was there's loads of room on that. It's so smooth. Oh, yeah, there's a picture up there. Oh, I just moved it. <laughs> well, no, that's incredible. What a coaster. It's fast, it's smooth, it's intense. There's a wasp around me somewhere here. <laughs> no, I loved it, loved it. Probably what we'll do is now we'll do the rides in this area uh, and then I'll go around and do Zadra again. Here's the t shirts for it. But the thing is, what Sean pointed out, it's got the wrong track on it. That's a real geeky thing. So, why couldn't they? It's just like a GCI track on it. But it's good though, it's a nice design. I like the logo, it'd make a great tattoo. But yeah, top 10, definitely. Just first go, definitely. Well, it was amazing. I like the um, the theming on it as well. It's just a nice ride. It's I can't believe how fast it was. Some of the some of the transitions were awesome. I might even get one of the bags. Got the proper draw, draw string, string bags there. Nice. I'll show you that. Yeah. I might see if I get one of them. I'll get it later when we leave. But no, it's amazing. I loved that ride. I loved the whole theming of it round here there's toilets just there if you need them 
Yeah. Uh, I think we'll go around and do Frida, which is the Vicoma Junior coaster, or Frida. Well, it's it's obviously Frida, isn't it? Frida isn't really a word, but yeah, Frida. Uh, then uh, we'll do the the monorail, which is just there behind us. We'll just sit on there, get a bit of view, might get a drink afterwards. We'll probably stay in this area for quite a bit because there's nothing really else other than formula. There isn't really else worth, you know, oh, shouting know about. Eh? And the upper right is suspended. Yeah, the suspended one's pretty good, yeah. We like that, but it's, it's about these now, isn't it? But it's quite funny when I was on Hyperion before about saying that Thorpe Park should get an into me mega coaster like uh, or hyper coaster whatever you want to call it like hyperion they need one of these as well it's it's pretty much the only park in the uk that would benefit from a an rmc like this um build it at the back where the swarm is there's loads of land for it there it's, it's amazing really good i really enjoyed that i didn't i didn't quite enjoy the walk getting there though that was a bit it's a bit too much especially when you're walking for five minutes and then you hit the 60 minute wait time and then the 50 minute and then the 40 minute. Yeah, ridiculous. I said five minutes walk to get there. Well, no, we've done it, completed. We've got one more cred to do and then that's it. So five creds in total on this whole trip. Yeah, awesome. Well, there's more creds than that. Well, there is more creds actually. Yeah, like I was saying yesterday, if you haven't watched the Legendia vlog, go and watch it, but there is another cred. Here we are, Frida, Frida. There is, there is other creds, there's 15 here, and then five at Legendia. You've got Zetaland's got a cred, that's just up the road. Oh my God, look at the cattle pen queue lines. It's like a maze, isn't it? It's mental. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, and there's also um, another little park that we could have gone to called uh, Twin Pigs. It's just got a little caterpillar cred. I'm not, I'm not fussed about caterpillars anymore. There's your uh, building work for the new ride. We'll get you some footage of that when we get up on the monorail in a minute. Well, yeah, I'll see you when we get up on the ride. Just up there, again, chest harness only on these rides. Don't use your uh, handhelds or anything. Frida. Right, here we go on Frida. Yeah, another walk on ride here at Le uh, Energy Landia, not Legendia. <laughs> it's the colour. Yeah, the colour, purple. Yeah, it is the colour. <laughs> yeah, just basically the same sort of trains as what you find on a. Whoa! The Coma Boomerang! It's all very smooth. Not much steaming on it though. It's nice though. Construction work. Nice little lap bar on it. Oh, good little ride. Two lap special. There's literally no one in that queue line at all. <laughs> it's all about Sadra around here. That was amazing. I can't wait to get back on it again. But look at all the expansion. Is over there, I can see. Woo! There's a pathway down here as well. Send it again. Oh, that's it. You want to re ride? You want to walk? You've got to walk around. too bad it's going to be hair go all fluffy now so the cap's going on in a minute right i think we'll have a quick walk over to the um, cycle monorail thing we'll do that and then we'll just chill out for a bit i think and then i'll go back on uh, zadra which is amazing but yeah i like the theming i think it's great just not keen on all the uh, all the walking all the cattle pens and things there's no need for it nice little shop 
Oh, it's quite cute. That's quite a nice T-shirt, that. Yeah. I like the design of it with the purple track and like the owl steampunk style. There's a cap as well for it. Mugs. That's quite nice. I like it. I like the logo. They've done really well to design this whole entire area. It, 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 it literally came out of nowhere. Still only a 10 minute wait for Zadra now. Well, that's the walk just to get there. Do mini pizzas there. Yeah, it literally come out of nowhere, this. I mean, we knew that Energylandia were planning some more coasters when we were here last year, because it was on the roller coaster database. Um, but we didn't know how quick they were going to build it. Like the fact that they've just they've just done this whole entire area. They put the show there, they've put the pub there. I don't think it's a pub, but it's not Irish themed, isn't it? With the shamrocks on it. Yeah, it's lovely. Right, another walk on ride here. There's literally no one in this station. Great views as well. Oh, we're on it. Cycle monorail, but you don't have to uh, cycle. But the um, yeah, it's a bit. Of a, <laughs> it's not very comfortable. Yeah, you can't lean back. It's a bit uncomfortable. But yeah, there's your uh, construction for the new coaster and the new area. Massive area. They just the size of this park is incredible. I think there's all the old wood where they all broken down. Yeah, well let's go away, wasp. <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, it's getting faster. Oh, it does go a bit faster. Oh, not pedalling. Pedalling for no one. There's that music again. Got a little kids area just down there. It's nice. I like I like what they've done. The fact that we was riding Mayan Coaster last year. Me and Tom were on there like, oh yeah, those are the all the, the expansion for the new stuff. And here it is. It's huge and there's the car park over there where we stopped off last night uh, not this one here the one behind it where all the track is can't really see much else going around oh uh, Mayan's going up the lift hill there oh yeah that's amazing <laughs> Beautiful views here of Zadra. It's amazing. It really is. Just like the fact that it's wood and steel, and I just it's awesome. And the way that the fact that they've tried to blend the steel structure in with the wood to make it all look the same. Yeah, I love it how they've loved, how they've called it a wooden coaster. It's probably more steel than it is wood. Awesome. Yeah, well that was that ride. Right, so we've just come off uh, the Dragon uh, Adventure. Uh, back in the shop, actually, the same one that's shared with Zadra. I got myself one of the bags. Um, the 30 slides worked out at uh, £6.30. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Bargain. Right, going to the toilet. I think we're going to probably sit down and have a drink or something for a bit. And then we'll go back on Zadra, because like I said, it's a long way to walk back out to then come back again. Um, this is one of the best coasters here. Um, it's hard to actually pick which is better between this and Hyperion. Um, I think they're both pretty much two different coasters, so it's it's one or the other. If you want a really good steel coaster, then you go for a, a Hyperion. If you, really, if you want a really good mixture of the both, then you go for Zadra. But yeah, it's hard to pick which is the better one. I mean, Zadra is amazing. I need to have another go on that, probably the back row this time. But uh, yeah, go and freshen up and uh, we'll get back on it. Alright, just had a quick bite to eat at the uh, chicken place over there. Just had a chicken wrap, it was alright actually, with some fries and a, a garlic dip and a drink. We're going back over to do Zadra now before we do more of the park. Oh, I love it. <laughs> the people walk past you, obviously, I can see them turn their heads, the corner of my eye, but 
we got a camera like what Sean's got with a flip screen. You can see what they're doing behind you, but you can't with this. But yeah, going back over to do Zadra, and then we'll go over and do more of the park. If we've got more, enough time, I'll, I'll try and make this one of the last rides of the day, other than with the Hyperion as well. But I love it around here. Yeah, the other thing is I wanted to talk about, they've just released the name for the new RMC Guazi. It's basically got to be called Iron Guazi which I think there's quite a few people think the same thing I think it's a terrible name if I'm honest um, Guazi was actually oh it's on 20 minutes now oh no 20 minutes that's not too bad though take 20 minutes to walk it yeah Guazi was basically a made up name for some sort of mythical creature big old there mythical creature uh, the Light, uh, body, uh, the head of a lion and body of a tiger, something like that. Well, now they've, what they've done is they've actually rethemed it to an alligator. Because obviously, Florida is famous for alligators, crocodiles, or obviously, uh, like Australia and uh, the Nile and that. So yeah, it seemed to alligator. But they've quite, they've kept the Guazi name for it. I, I don't get it. I, I really don't. If, it's, if they've gone for a reptile theme, my idea was call it reptilian. I think that suit it so much better. But uh, yeah, oh, I'll see you when we get closer to the ride. It's taken me about 30 minutes to get to this point. It's a 20 minute wait. There we are, back row time. Let's see how it goes on the back. Right, here we go. Back row. the girl's hair flipping up and it sounds a bit That's amazing! Oh, it's so fast! Crazy, yeah. yeah, crazy! What an incredible coaster that is! Oh. Get yourselves over to Poland! <laughs> incredible! We need one of these in the UK! We don't have one, believe it or not! And it'll be a while before we do get one! They need to sit the second train on though! Second train sat over there, they need to get that on! It's a big queue! It's all the way down the stairs! That's amazing, such a good coaster. All right, there you go, back roll POV on Zadra. That was incredible, it's so fast. I probably think this is the best coaster in the park now. I think this is slightly better than Hyperion, but like I said earlier, 
they're two completely different coasters um, you know if you like your steel coasters you probably prefer Hyperion more than you would with Zadra if you've never been on an RMC they're, they're, they're like nothing else you've ever been on before it, they're, they're so smooth if I'm honest I'm not uh, I'm not 100% keen on the restraints on it you basically there's a little seat belt uh, like a click fix like you got on the Intermins and then there's a lap bar but it's clamps your legs as well it basically is a lap bar that comes here and then you've got like your leg sort of supports there as well and it's a bit tight if I'm honest I mean they don't push down too much it's just the uh, the leg supports doesn't really need it but it's amazing the actual coaster is stunning it's so smooth and it's so fast especially around uh, this bit round at the back there where it sort of flips over like that and back round on the other side it's incredible I've never experienced anything like this before other than like Twisted Colossus but I think this is better if I'm honest that was amazing right we've got to go off and do the rest of the park now we've done pretty much everything we wanted to do and see around this section now we've got a whole massive theme park just over there with so many other coasters to do uh, we have been on them before but there's so much over there there's water rides and flat rides and dark there's, there's all sorts of stuff over there so we'll see when we get on that side of the park Right, so we've just come back from Smokshid Grod, I think it's called, the area over there. It is a themed area, uh, Dragon Zone, it's obviously uh, translated to over there. We've just about walked back through that tunnel there, we've just noticed uh, between ourselves, it's, it, it, it's very rushed is what they've done there. Um, it's not very finished either, there's no lighting in there, there's a lot of leads hanging down and wires and things. Obviously they've, they've, they've done it quick to get it open uh, for, for the rest of this season. But just over here now, we spotted there's a Dodgems track. I didn't even know this was here. So beautiful. And the themed Dodgems, every one I've noticed has got like themed to a different racing circuit around the world. You've got um, Silverstone, Nürburgring's just here, Istanbul, uh, Sebring, yeah, yeah, Monza. Not sure we'll go on there. Uh, we'll probably do Formula next, which is over here, but the park is slightly busy, especially for a Monday in September. I don't know what the wait times are now for stuff, but it is looking busy. We want to need one of them to get around. So if we have time for the show as well. Yeah, from what I can remember, this was amazing. Uh, later on this afternoon, I think. I've got a map, I'll have a look on the map, see if the show times are on there. It was really good. And I can get some footage for you of the new track, the new coaster. That was the other good coaster, Dragon. You got speed behind that as well. Yeah, I don't know what the wait times are for this. Oh, 20 minutes. It's, uh, we'll do it. Still a really good coaster. It's funny, isn't it? Like, honestly, like I was saying, before that when we came last year this this was literally the best well one of the best coasters here the dragon next to it's really good as well just the park's a lot busier than I thought it would have been it was dead this morning Here we go on formula i tell you what it's not as comfortable as uh, the let coaster here we go Woo! Oh, man. Oh! Oh! that time Woo! Oh! <laughs> 
was it? <laughs> Right, since we're walking past it, we might as well do it. You know, it's another ride, we might as well go on it. There's pretty much no weight to it at all. I don't know if we could squeeze through here, there's no there's no one in it. You've got your count down there, ten people can fit on it. Just wonder if I can squeeze through this bit here. Yeah, no chance. Probably not, no. I'll just go under. Yeah. Yeah, six people can go through. Yeah, but no, Yeah. Yeah, it's really weird this part. They've got two world class coasters now, and this pretty lame dark ride. I don't think my gun's working. Yeah, I'll stop doing anything. Try the other one. That's not the oh oh yeah this one's working. It's awful. <laughs> the thing is as well, there's no score on the train itself. It's on like a screen when you come out. Well, because you don't know what car you're in, you don't know what score you've got. But yeah, it's like Aliens. You ever seen the film Aliens? It's like a Xenomorph type thing there. And here as well. It's quite good in the GoPro, I must admit. They lit up pretty well. <laughs> uh, it's awful. This needs to go. And then you've got like mixed transformer type things. Yeah. Right, so when you've come off the world's worst dark ride, make a note of the number of your car there because you've got to look on this screen. I was in number nine. That was my score. Yeah, I think she beat me on that one. But yeah, the first gun I was trying wasn't even working. But yeah, it's not, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> oh well, at least I've got a dark ride. Yeah, they need to uh, get rid of that and, and put in a new, a new style ride in there. But it's one of the first attractions they had. Like the theming on it's not very good either. Probably the only thing I don't really like about this park is that ride. <laughs> but that's it, yeah, we've got to walk around now, have a look at the show times for the uh, Stunt Show Extreme. Uh, and then we'll probably do the Rapids, maybe the Speed Water Coaster, but definitely not sitting on the front. You're not, you know. Yeah, I got soaked. We all got soaked. If you haven't seen it, check out the vlog from last year. We sat in the front. Even a theme park review came recently and they were like, oh no, there's like a foot of water in the... F yeah, we did, we got exactly the same thing. Then we've got to get a drink of some sort as well. Yeah, walking towards like the show section now. I don't think I did the review of um, Formula, but uh, if I didn't, well anyway. Yeah, I find it, it's... Um, it's quite intense, you forget how intense that coaster is for such a small layout. Uh, we're around near the speed section now, anyway, uh, the uh, Intamin uh, water coaster, which is still dubbed as the tallest, fastest in Europe. And you've got the rapids just here as well. There is so much to this park. It's only open for like, another four hours. We haven't even seen a quarter of it yet. Um, you've got the splash battle over there. It's on at when? Half three is the next one, right? We'll be back for that. Uh, do you want to do the rapids? 
We're not betting the rapids, bro. Let's do the rapids since we're here anyway. It, no, it wasn't too bad. No, no, it's not the one that we nearly sunk. So yeah, rapid, zero weight for this. You don't get mega wet on it. It's not a soaker from what I remember. Oh, look, there's more steps. <laughs> Yeah, if you are planning on coming to this park, just bear in mind there's a lot of walking. Hello! Yeah, look at the layout to it. There's your show over there. So we'll, we'll go back to that at half three. Not a bad lot of rapids, this. You've got the, uh, the waterfalls that if you get near it, you'll get wet. Good views of speed coaster just here, which is coming around now. Our boat's empty. It is a really nice park, it really is. Uh, just a lot of walking. I don't know what else I was going to say then. Wow. That is loud. Right, let's get on the uh, rubber dingy rapids, bro. Here we go. Oh, got a boat to ourselves. Yeah, it's pretty much walk on. Uh, I was just saying to ourselves off camera, we're so happy we didn't come yesterday. Uh, and then we went to Legendia instead. Oh, because it was absolutely rammed from what we could see. Oh, where am I getting it? Oh, no. Please remain seated. Oh, not again. <laughs> ah! I'm not having repeat of last year. Every water ride I went on, I got soaked. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh, some more bits coming up behind here. It's the waterfalls that get you on this, which are over there. Yeah, Jungle Adventure, I think this is called. Whoa. No, no. Whoa, Whoa splashy, splashy. More like a lazy river this one there's so many water rides here as well there's actually quite a few that we didn't do when we came last year there's like a small mac rides little boat ride uh, there's actually a couple of monorails as well that we didn't do there's so much to this park if you are coming i'd, I'd definitely recommend two days and i didn't even mention the fact that you've got a water park as well which is just over there uh that's all that's included with the admission price and bearing in mind it's only like what 22 pounds to get in it's a bargain this place it really is hey well we're missing it don't no, please get it ah! <laughs> and again oh, <laughs> oh that's all down my back <laughs> it's all down her back oh no oh there we go oh yeah <laughs> there's another one, don't you worry. There's a oh, there's another one coming up. That was all down my back. <laughs> yeah, it's like a swamp over there. Swamp the ride. Let's see how wet oh, we're gonna get. Shit. Oh no! Oh, shit. 
<laughs> Please remain seated. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Oh, eh, not a bad ride. Soaked. Soaked. All right, the fun ride there on the rapids. Next up, we're going on speed water coaster, which is amazing. I just hope I'm not sat in the front because um, you get soaking wet on this. Zero minutes, pretty much walk on. We've been watching it going around. There's been no one on it really. Uh, a few of the boats are pretty full. Again, it's another walk around. Yeah, I mean, there's so much rest to this park. I think there's lockers, yeah, they're down there. So you gotta walk through all of this first. Again, really well themed. You could probably hear the Pirates of the Caribbean music playing in the background. <laughs> Looks like they finished off the rock work as well. Last time we came, a lot of this was all missing, especially these bits in the middle, like that. It's quite open. Yeah, I've had a good day today. It's been awesome. Can't wait to get back on Hyperion again in a bit. I'll probably hang around this area and then we'll watch the show at half three and then we'll do Hyperion and a few of the other things as well. Right, here we go on speed on the back row on my own. Uh, you get more wet from the splashing on the side. We're going all the way up there. Oh no! Really clever sifting of how this works. You get wet from the drips from the top. Oh no! That's pretty much a cred on itself, this. Views up here. Oh, cool. Yeah, you're still right. Here we go. Ooh. Woo! Wet. Yeah, if you want to get wet, sit at the front, but no, not too bad at the back. Oh, my foot's a little bit wet though. But yeah, awesome ride. There you go, speed water coaster, done. Uh, I'm actually not that wet at all, just a little bit on my shorts and my right hand side and my foot as well, where it's sort of splashed into the boat a bit. I've just come off, and I know I did mention about the water park is including but obviously with it being Monday and sort of out of season it's not actually open today I th we think it might have been open yesterday because it was about 25 degrees or something and it was really really busy yesterday uh, so yeah that water park is included you can walk straight in there's, there's gate for it here somewhere there as well and, and there you can walk straight in 
uh, it's included with your admission price into the park so yeah we've done I don't know three quarters of the park probably half of the park at the moment well I did say it is pretty much a two-day park if you are coming bear that in mind you can also get a two-day ticket as well I'm not entirely sure what the price is for it I think it's around 30 five pound ish sort of price it's not it's not too much more than what a, a one day ticket is uh, but yeah if you are coming just bear in mind it's not it's not just about energy landia when you come to poland there is other things here as well uh, like i did mention in the um previous vlog at legendia we went to the salt mines last year then and, and to be honest that was probably the highlight of the whole week the salt mines in krakow was amazing that was i've never seen anything like that in my my life it was it was awesome it was definitely worth a visit obviously the museum as well and all the other things we did as well uh, zeta lands just up the road Le legendia's worth a full day out here's two days at least here's one of the other coasters here i probably won't bother with some of the coasters now because we've done them before it's it's just a, another generic sbf visa spinning coaster but it's the, uh, it's the what they call the three loop um it's, it's a bigger bigger um layout on it yeah thank you uh you also got other rides down here that we didn't do last year loads of kids rides as well there's like a little monorail that just goes around so we might nip onto that there's a slide there's the entrance and exit area over there anyway but we want to sort of stay in this area for a bit because we want to go over and see the show that's on in in uh, about I don't know, 35 minutes so we'll probably do the little monorail we didn't do that last time um, and then we'll walk back around to where the uh, the stunt show is but you also got like carousel you got your odd bits of random theming around here it's really weird some of it's just so random like you got the penguin of, penguins of madagascar style penguins there with these yetis you know it's all i think they're all done by the same people also bought these the other day as well been eating them trolley <laughs> little play mice thing very nice sweets yeah so here we go we're going on the monorail now all right so we're on the uh, monorail here as you can see we've got an amazing view here yeah <laughs> uh, yeah you can see if you look to the side yeah it's only a little layout it goes over there there's another one as well with a little plane sort of thing over it's over there on the other side like you can see the uh, pink track just a load of little kids flat rides down here just sort of come on something a bit different there's another coaster just down there little kids cred there you go that's what you come on here for, isn't it? <laughs> Get the views of the coasters. Oh, we're going back the other way now. Yeah, there's your little coaster down there. It's quite fun, that. Of yeah, loads of theming on it. Yeah, there's like a little farm ride, tractor ride thing. That's pretty much it, really. Right, while we're walking back round to the uh, stunt show, I thought I'd go on Mars here. The, uh, it's a little family coaster, it's only a little tiny thing, but it's uh, really well themed, as you can see there. Yeah, the um, theming, like I said, is quite questionable, because you can see there, you've got like an alien theme there. Over here, over here you've got a safari themed area. You've got a building behind me. It's got like... Um, I don't know, it's supposed to look like Lego. But it's it's really it's really weird. But at least they do it though, you know, it's it looks good, it looks alright. But hopefully, you know, now they've done Hyperion and Zadra that the uh, theming will be turned up a notch. Cause um yeah. <laughs> it's a bit uh, a bit funny compared to the other coasters, isn't it? Right, here we go on Mars. I just looked on the database because I wasn't actually sure. But yeah, it's an SBF visa. It's not a bad little junior coaster, this. 
looks like it's got to rain in a bit. Oh, we sort of knew it might do. Woo! Oh! <laughs> Crazy theming. Woo! Station fly through. Not looking good over there. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Ah! Oh, just bashed my knee. Ah. Someone slapped a sticker on his finger here. Look, it's one of them here. Ah! Three lap special. Oh no, it's not. Roll back into the station. Oh, bash me knee on that. Oh. Well, yeah, look at the theming on it. <laughs> oh. Fun little ride there on Mars, a little uh, junior coaster. Uh, we've got a speed booster here, which is the uh, like the Fabry booster there. 20 minutes, and you can see the queue line for it. It's probably longer than what Hyperion is. It's crazy. Very small throughputs on this they could have done with building two of them at the same time but um by the looks of it the polish love their extreme rides because you've got a space gun on the other side as well uh, which is also i don't know 10 20 minutes on that as well but the other rides are walk on yeah they love it but they should have built two of them they're building something like that you've got to put two of them especially in a little thing but well little a big theme park like this <laughs> Right, we've got to get another drink, I think, and then we've got to walk over to do the, uh, well, watch the the stunt show over there. And then we'll probably do Dragon, maybe, see what uh, Zadra's on, and then maybe Hyperion for the end of the day. We haven't got much, t oh, I was going to say it's got to rain then, but it's, it's some water here. Oh, soaking. Yeah, having an awesome day here. Awesome. Well, good. Not yet. Slot is here. Arcades. Seating area. Yeah, it's well good. Loads to th see and do. Alright, the guys are practicing for the stunt show. Before that, I'll show you this. I don't know if the GoPro will make it out, but I'll do some zooming shots with my phone. The track for the shockwave coasters sat at the back of there. Like I said, if you haven't followed it already, follow the Facebook page, Coaster Crazy on Facebook. I did post some pictures where I was actually sat on the track. And uh, yeah, I know Sean came last few weeks, well, a couple of weeks ago, and he came up here and filmed that. And I sent him some pictures like, oh, I didn't know you could get to it. It's, it's basically a road that just goes around the perimeter. And it's like, a, I don't know if it's a staff car park or an overfilled car park over there, but I'll just throw you some, some zooming shots in a second. Well, so while we're up here, they got all the old ramps and stuff from the old shows. There's all, also bits of bit, bits of theming, and there's all sorts of random stuff in there. Bits of wire mesh from stuff. Uh, there's all sorts of just random stuff just dumped in there. It's like an old junkyard. There's a big foundation there for something. You got your pumpkins out ready for the Halloween event that they're doing as well. Great views up here. But yeah, the show's coming up next. Really good event. This really good show. We don't really tend to do shows, but stunt shows we like because we like cars and things. So yeah, so we'll show you some highlights of the show. I won't film the whole thing because it's on for quite a while. But yeah, after this clip, I'll show you some in, zoomed in shots of the uh, the track just over there. Niezwykłe rzeczy i ci ludzie, którzy dla was te rzeczy będą robić, potrzebują naprawdę porządnego dopingu. I ja wiem, nie jest was dzisiaj dużo na trybunie, ale słuchajcie, nie ilość, tylko jakość się liczy. Także mam nadzieję, że dacie radę zrobić taki doping, jakby was tutaj było no z 10 tysięcy. Dacie radę?
kilometrów do wagę. Czwarty jest Marcin Wierzuński, a peleton zamyka Dawid Miodek Kamiński. Wielkie brawa dla całej piątki! Słuchajcie, drodzy Państwo, zostajemy na dwóch kołach, ale potrudniamy im ten przejazd. Pora na salon. I tutaj prośba do Was. I dalej będą w salon. I wielkie brawa dla Meli, Piotrka i Kacpra. Pokonali salon na dwóch kołach. Już teraz jedzie do nas Marcin, proty Linixo, tworząc bardzo wąską bramę, przez którą normalnie samochód by nie przejechał. Jeżeli mu się uda, wiecie co macie robić. Ale słuchajcie, ma być głośno! I już pędzi do nas Piotrek i Kasper, ale czekajcie, bo chyba mają pasażerów na kawę. Halo, wysiadamy! Panowie, pompeczki! Tak jest, złoto sieci! Jeden zły ruch i lądują pod kołami samochodów. Na szczęście nie tym razem. Dajcie im brawa! Tymczasem po waszej prawej już możecie zobaczyć kolejny manewr. Ten nosi piękną i jakże fachową nazwę hot dog. Dwie bułeczki po bokach oraz w środku w roli różowej parówki na dwóch kołach. Melona Czeszka! zakończone mięciu. Really good show that, well worth checking out. It's only on for, uh, well, I'll say that, 20 minutes. <laughs> We're just left before the right at the end. Um, there's a lot of people there, obviously, if we want to get on to like Zadra again and Hyperion. 
we've got to get cracking because we've literally got two hours and then we've got to go. Um, our flight's quite late tonight anyway, but it's about an hour to Katowice from where we are here. Uh, I mean, we could have flew into uh, Krakow, but uh, the, the way that we looked at it in the pricing and that, I think Katowice was ch slightly cheaper. But you can do it either way, don't matter. But no, it's a fantastic park here. You've got the uh, splash battle there. It's very quiet. There's people going around it with no one on it. Um, it looks like the park's sort of getting a bit quieter now. Yeah, there's no one. There's boats in there waiting for people to go on it. I don't even know if it's open. <laughs> it's, it's very quiet. So yeah, not sure what we'll do now. There's still quite a few coasters that we've done before, but we haven't covered in this vlog. Obviously, the Mayan coaster, uh, the Vekoma boomerang at the back, the kids, kids one, the family one. Uh, there's a caterpillar. Uh, oh, dragon! That's what we'll do. We'll go on the dragon coaster. That's pretty good. Uh, the coma suspended coaster. Pretty much like flight the pterosaur, but this has got a slightly better layout. And they sell corn as well down there. I never noticed that before. Yum yum. All right, zero minutes. Well, apparently it's zero minutes. It takes, still takes 10 minutes to get to the coaster. Uh, yeah, lockers for this one as well. Yeah, I remember this being all right, actually. Really good layout, some good theming on it as well. You go like a, through like a dragon's head, I think, if I remember. Vlog bombers again. But yeah, it's been a really good day here today. Like I said, we've only got a couple hours left of the park. Probably go over to do Zab Zadra again after this and then straight over to Hyperion, see how many rides we can get on the uh, on the awesome Intuin coaster by the end of the day. But yeah, I'll see you when I get on the ride. Oh, there's a lot of walking here, there really is. A minute long that really is a good family coaster I love that it's really intense it's really smooth it's got some good transitions it's brilliant really well themed as well great little coaster that I love that one thing I just noticed I thought it was worth filming now they've got the locker system uh, last year when we came we used to come out of this was the exit and they had some shops and stuff which are all closed up now uh, you have to go over the bridge uh, back to the other side, so I don't know if this was here before um, Or they've just added it for the for the locker system because obviously you, did, you didn't have to go this way before Gives you some good views though. I keep getting static on everything every time I touch a bit of metal I keep getting static Well, yeah, brilliant. Love it Station fly through as well. That's awesome. Yeah, great, great little uh, coast. It's actually just started raining now as well. We have some good views here. Sadra over there. Main coast we didn't bother with. There's like a pendulum ride. There's another flat ride just in here. There's a drop tower. 
basically like magma at Poulton's Park, but it doesn't spin. You get a couple of drops on it. It's chucking it down over there. Could you see the rain? Uh, the boomerang there. Oh, it's great. Great park. Wow, good shot. Yeah, I'm not filming the uh, chair thing in the background. I'm actually filming this thing here. What is that? I was saying about the random theming. It's like a steampunk style dolphin with a guy and a squid coming out of its mouth. I, I don't know. No idea. But uh, yeah, there's a couple of shows. There's actually one going on. We thought it finished, but it's like a pirate show. There's some girls and stuff dancing over there. You got the kids log flume uh, here, which doesn't. I think it's running. There's just no one on it. Well, yeah, the chair swing looks all right actually. Um, no, it's it's been all right. It's been all right. We haven't really done much since. I went on the uh, the dragon coaster. We're just having a walk around really. There's a few other things around here that we've done when we came last year. Like there's a magic show over there. There's a guy who's telling, oh, come and have a look at the magic show. We could go and do it. I'm not sure actually. Don't really do shows, do we? No. To be honest. If it, like I said before, car shows and things, we don't mind, but we've only got uh, like an hour and 15, well, sorry, an hour and 45 minutes left. And it, it, it is raining now. There's a few other rides around here. The Toffee Fee, <laughs> the Toffee Fee log flume that I got soaked on. One of the wettest log flumes I've ever been on. Yeah, it's 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 spitting a bit. Everybody in it spitting. Another little splash battle. There must be about seven water rides at this park. It is raining. Uh, toffee fee log flume. Doesn't look like I don't know if that's running or not. There's no one on it. And then you got the Vacoma coaster behind it. Yeah, it's all right here. It's, we sort of knew the weather turn at the end of the day. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, everybody in it spitting. Yeah, the log flume sounds like it's on, but I don't see anyone going around. Oh, the entrance is on that side now. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anyone on that. Some more sort of kids rides and things around here. Like the tractor ride. Really nice building there. I think it's some sort of restaurant. It's it is massive this park. There's still quite a lot we haven't seen yet. But um, if you do want to see a whole experience, like I say, go and check out my videos I did last year. You've got a SBF Visa Caterpillar there, the longer, longer layout on it. Oh, it's raining now. Proper raining. No, so uh, there's the um, Energist, I think it's called. Yeah, Energist, but it's been it's got a new theme to it. It's got a bit of a queue on that one. I think we're going around to do Hyperion anyway. Wow, what a beauty. Uh, yeah, it's raining, it's going to hurt. <laughs> Here we go, front row on Hyperion.
Amazing! Woo! Oh, that's incredible, even in the rain. Oh, it hurt a bit. Wow, so so good. <laughs> All right, there you go, front row ride on Hyperion. That thing is literally blown me away today. I, I've fallen in love with this coaster. Oh, and that's lying. That's a lie. Um, it probably would have been zero minutes if they'd actually had the two trains on it, but they've taken one train off it now because the park closes in an hour um, and it's running one train. It took 20 minutes to get on that. So that's lied. I don't like lying, especially that. Well, Q time's lying, that's no good. Uh, but no, it's probably not their fault. Anyway, besides that, the coaster is amazing. Um, I was just saying then off camera, I think that's impressed me more than Zadra has. Um, yeah, she's like, hmm. Um, I, I don't know. I, I, I just love my Intamin coasters. I love them to pieces. Goliath at Wallaby Holland blew me away. I love that to bits. Uh, Expedition G Force at Holyrood Park. Again, that was the same thing. Taran, still my number one coaster. Nothing will beat that for a long time. That's my little bit. I love that thing to pieces. This. It's basically just a tall version of Tarrant. It's amazing. It's got, it's got the height, it's got the speed. It's intense, but not too intense that you'd black out on it. It's got an inversion. Even in the rain, it's super smooth. The seats are comfortable. I like the theming. There's nothing not to like about that coaster. Whereas Zadra, eh, totally different type of coaster. Yes, I did like it. Uh, my second ever RMC, but I don't know, it's just like going on a smooth wooden coaster, really. I wasn't too keen on the restraints on it, if I'm honest, with a seat belt as well as being pinned into the seat. Uh, but no, it's good. Really good, solid coasters here. Get yourself to Energylandia. And get yourself to Poland, in fact. Just just come here, it's amazing. If you ever thinking about going to, on a holiday somewhere, get yourselves here. We'll definitely be back next year. We, we are actually going, by the way. Uh, Park closes in an hour. We've got like an hour or so to get get to the airport, uh, Katowice. But we will definitely be back next year uh, when they build the next coaster. When that opens, we'll try and plan a trip around that for the opening. I love it here. It's really good. I, I just can't rave enough about the place. Yes, the theming's a bit off in places, um, but you know that's, that's what happens when you have a new theme park that's wanting to progress the way it has done it's been it's brilliant I'll, 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 I'll wrap up in a minute anyway but we're, we're leaving the park now we've had a great time yeah some of the staff dressed up thank you yeah 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 it is worth definitely coming for high period and zadra alone don't get me wrong i did enjoy it the only the other odd thing i've noticed as well we haven't really seen anything for this october fest i don't know what what that is did you see anything there was a food area i, I don't know I, I didn't see anything of that so you're probably wondering where was that we did, i didn't see it october fest is food and beer food and beer that's all you want to know but no it's been amazing huh? car keys yeah uh right yeah we are parked over there yes that's it uh, amazing day in poland uh energy land the amazing two days as well i can't wait to come back again unfortunately we just booked a very short trip a high period for me if i'm honest it's probably been the highlight of the day i love that thing to pieces and again i've, I've heard a lot of stories people blacking out on it and that but it's not it's not that intense it's a really good coaster um and Z zadra again is amazing so anyway we are going so don't forget to follow like and subscribe uh leave a comment as well don't forget to follow the Facebook page, Coaster Crazy, and the Instagram account, which is Coaster Crazy Andy. I might end up going somewhere tomorrow, which is a Tuesday, because I've still got the day off. Uh, I'm not sure yet. The Holton Towers and Thorpe Park are closed, so that, they're out of the question, and anywhere else is just too far away. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one today. Probably not shown you as much as um, what we should have done, um, but check out the, like, the last vlogs that we did from last year anyway. But yeah, there we go. Hyperion, 
and Zadra, two world-class coasters, definitely worth coming to Poland for. And then off it goes, they're sending it again. I'll see you later. Bye for now.